Welcome to Indica Monique's channel. I would say welcome back, but you know, this is my first video. So welcome to my channel. Um, Today we're going to be trying out Jackie Ines palette. We're going to create this look right here. And then also I'm trying out um a new lip gloss, a new mascara, and a new uh, contour brush. So if you want to see how I like those products and how I created this look right here, please keep on watching. If you like this content, make sure you subscribe to my channel and we're about to run it up. So enjoy the video. Okay, so first I'm going to just start off putting some tape on my eyes. And then I'm going to take the Jackie Ina palette. And I'm going to take the shade Ginger. And I'm going to just buff that all in my crease. Blend that for a good minute. And just keep blending. Don't even stop. Just keep on blending. Okay, so next I'm going to take the shade Edges and I'm going to buff this in the lower part of my lid and smoke it out. Um, I'm going to also do eyeliner, but I'm going to do it different. So I'm going to just smoke this part kind of right there still, but I'm going to go over with eyeshadow. Okay, so now I'm going to take the NARS Soft Matte Concealer and I'm going to just cut my crease to get ready to put some eyeshadow on top of it. So I'm going to do that with like a short flat brush and then I'm going to just blend everything out. Okay, so now I'm going to take the color Trust Issues and I'm going to just pack this on with my finger because sometimes I feel like it applies better than a flat brush. So I'm just pack this on with my finger in the inner corner. The next color I'm going to take is Sponsored, and I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the first one. I'm going to pack it on my finger, but I'm going to just do this one right next to it, more in the center of my lid and at the end of my lid. And then I'm going to buff everything out again with the color edges. Okay, so next I'm going to take the shade Credit and I'm going to blend this out with a Morphe eyeliner brush. I'm going to just smudge it, define it, and get it all blended out really good. The tape is beneficial because if you get makeup or eyeshadow on there, it really doesn't matter. So once I do that and define it a little bit more, I can finally take the tape off. And it's going to be looking a little something like this. I'm going to take the tape off and I'm going to take some wipes, wipe away any fallout that I have from the eyeshadow. And then I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara. I actually haven't tried this one, but it reminds me of the Better Than Sex Mascara, the wand on there. So I actually like it. So now I'm going to just put on some lashes and then we can start on the face makeup. Okay, so now I'm just going to take the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. And I'm going to just blend this out with the Real Technique Sponge and just blend Blend, this probably takes a good minute, but you gotta blend it out, girl. You gotta have your foundation, your layout looking right. You can't be out here looking crazy, so you gotta blend everything out. Okay, can we just talk about how bomb this foundation is? Like, I love foundations that give me glow. Like, I hate foundations that have me out here looking like I'm dry, cause, uh -uh. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the Kylie Jenner concealer and I'm just gonna put this all underneath my eyes. I'm also gonna put this on my chin, my nose, the bridge of my nose, and the middle of my forehead. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, but in a darker shade to contour with. So I'm gonna take that on a e.l.f. stippling brush and I'm gonna just put that all on my forehead, my cheekbones, all it really needs to go to contour.
Okay, so now I'm gonna take the Kylie Jenner powder and I'm just gonna put this on all the places that I use my concealer just to set everything and I'm gonna bake for a little bit too. So we got to do that. So I have this new brush to try. I've never tried this brush. Um, it's supposed to be like a contour brush. So we're gonna contour with it today. Let's see if it's good or not. Okay, so I'm just taking the Morphe bronzer and I'm buffing now with the Contour 218M brush. This guy sent to me from the glam, like the glam bag thing. So I've actually never tried this brush before, but I actually like it. It works pretty good. So yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty Diamond Bomb Highlight. Uh, first, I need to dust away all the powder that I had baking and then we got to go in and apply this highlight. Okay, so yeah, I'm just finished dusting away all this powder. Okay, so I'm gonna just go in and apply this highlighter to the highest points of my face, my nose, a little bit on my forehead, my cupid's bow, my chin, get everything glowing. I love this highlight so much. It legit looks like glass. Okay, like, do you see that? Okay, so now I'm gonna take the Fit Me blush and I'm gonna just blend this out with the Real Techniques Fluffy Brush. I really love this blush because it's not too much. I hate like clown blush when it's like just too much. But anyways, now I'm gonna take the Too Faced Damn Girl mascara again. Just give me some under eye lashes. And then y'all, y'all finna hate me for this, but I ain't have no more brown lip liner, so I use my eyebrow brush, but that's just get away doing it. So now I'm about to take this Ofra Gloss or yeah, Ofra gloss that I got from the Glam Bag too. I like this gloss, it kind of faded away fast and I liked that the color wasn't too much, but it wasn't my favorite, but it was cute though for the look. And the last thing I'm gonna do is just pop a little inner corner highlight in there. 